Welcome to WP Mail SMTP, the most popular SMTP and PHP mailer for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your site's email deliverability issues by setting up WP Mail SMTP with SparkPost. Email deliverability is probably the biggest and most common issue that WordPress users face on a day-to-day -day basis. This includes important emails either ending up in a user spam folder or not being delivered at all. The best way to fix this issue is to authenticate your site's emails using SMTP and selecting a specific mailer option to help you deliver your emails reliably each and every time. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure you have a SparkPost account. If not, you can head over to their website to get started. For our tutorial, we're going to be using the free test plan. Once you've finished setting up your account, the first thing we'll need to do is add our sending domain to our SparkPost account. From the dashboard, click the Add Sending Domain button, and on the following page, click Add Sending Domain again. You'll need to select the type of domain you want to add. We recommend using the default sending domain option. We're going to use and verify a subdomain in SparkPost and use an email address at that subdomain as the address we'll enter in our WP Mail SMTP mailer settings later on. Type in your subdomain. I'm using mail.pattypigeon.com as an example and click the Save and Continue button. A pop-up will then appear asking you to select your domain alignment preferences. Since we're using a subdomain, we recommend using the strict alignment option. To choose this option, select Yes under the Verify Domain for Bounce for Strict Alignment option, then click Save and Continue. Our next step is to verify our sending domain, which will involve adding DNS records to your site's DNS settings. Once you've finished adding your sending domain, which should be the subdomain we just created, SparkPost will show you the two DNS records you'll need to add. Open a new tab and go to your site's DNS settings. This is often your site's hosting provider. Each DNS settings page will look different depending on your provider, but regardless, there should be an option to add new records. Let's go through adding one of the records to our DNS settings as an example. Click the option to add a new record and specify what type of record it's going to be. Tab back to SparkPost, copy the host value, and go back to your DNS settings and paste it into the host name or name field. Go back to SparkPost again, copy the text in the value column, and paste it into the value column in your DNS settings. Repeat this process for both records provided by SparkPost. Once you've added the records in your site's DNS settings, go back to SparkPost and check the box called the TXT and CNAME records have been added to the DNS provider, then click Verify Domain. It can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for SparkPost to verify these records in your domain. When the verification process has been completed, you should see three status markers in your SparkPost account's domain list. If the markers aren't there, check back at a later time. The next step is to create our SparkPost API key to connect it to the WP Mail SMTP plugin. Click on the API Keys option from the top of your SparkPost account dashboard, and on the Next screen, click Create API Key. Enter a name for it, and leave the API permissions set to All. When you've done so, click the Create API Key button at the bottom. You should then see your SparkPost API Key. Leave this tab open and open a new tab to log into your WordPress site and go to the Settings page of WP Mail SMTP. We're now going to configure our mailer settings. Scroll down to see the following two fields, from email and from name. In the from email field, you can use any email address that uses the same domain we verified in SparkPost. We also recommend checking the box labeled force from email as this will make sure all emails sent from your site will be coming from this same address. In the from name field, feel free to write in any name you'd like. You can also select the Force From Name field if you'd like this to be applied to all emails site-wide. In the Mailer section, select Spark Post. You should then see some additional fields appear, API Key and Region. Go back to Spark Post, copy the API Key, and go back to your website and paste it into the API Key field. In the Region field, select the region you chose when you set up your Spark Post account, and when you're done, click the Save Settings button. To make sure everything is working properly, let's send out a test email. Click on the Tools tab under WP Mail SMTP on the left side menu to be taken to the Email Test page. In the Send To field, 
You can enter whatever email address you have access to to receive the test email. When you're done, click Send Email. When the test email has been sent, check your inbox to find the newly arrived message. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up WP Mail SMTP with SparkPost. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to visit WPMailSMTP.com and check out our documentation page, where we have step-by-step -step written instructions that can help you get started and learn more about what WP Mail SMTP has to offer. If you need any extra technical help, you can always go to our contact page and reach out to our support team.